in with breaking news about the coronavirus. Now, county and city health officials in Corpus Christi say they're monitoring two patients who meet the criteria set by the CDC for tracking the coronavirus. Our Catherine McGinney is following this story, and she joins us now. And first off, Catherine, what are health officials actually telling us about these two patients? Lee, the health department did not specify which CDC guidelines those individuals met, but we did learn they are being monitored at their homes and will be checked for coronavirus symptoms over the next 14 days. As the number of coronavirus cases rise in the United States, concerns are also growing locally. Tuesday afternoon, Nueces County health officials confirmed they're monitoring two people for the virus under CDC guidelines. Well, the question asked most is, do we have any cases here in Nueces County? So, and the answer is no. That's because the cases are not confirmed. The patients are just being monitored. Annette Rodriguez is the director of the Corpus Christi Nueces County Public Health District. She says if we were to have a positive case in the area, the health department would let the community know immediately. So we're working real hard to get everybody as prepared as possible. The rise in numbers is also prompting the CDC to add more laboratories. A confirmed case in San Antonio raised concerns in South Texas, but Rodriguez says that case is very low risk. You need to be, you know, within six feet of the person. So. Speaking to them, you know, would be the way to get to actually pick it up if they sneeze on you or cough on you. Health officials are facing a new challenge with misinformation causing worry. Yesterday, a rumor made its way around the Internet causing fear of a confirmed coronavirus case at Christus Spawn Shoreline in Corpus Christi. But later, we learned it was unfounded. I think you just need to be careful what you say on social media. You know, I think uh, there's no reason for us to raise the level of anxiety or panic in the community. Again, these two people are being monitored because they fall under guidelines set by the CDC. We wanted to find out what particular guidelines applied to them, but health department officials weren't available. We were told they were in meetings. Lee? All right, thank you very much, Kat. By the way, there's also a state coronavirus hotline that has health professionals available to answer your questions. We have that number posted for you on our website. That's ChrisTV.com.